Many people today are looking for Planet X, which the Babylonians called Nibiru, which means the prophet planet which was their patron god of their scribes. The strange thing is the historical king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, name was derived from Nibor. The translation being, prophet planet which over my borders the astronomers from the distant past from various cultures tracked this planet and considered it to be a disaster, a wandering star. Nevertheless, unlike Zachariah Sitchin's, those astronomers knew the prophet planet, or beetle returns to be a much shorter duration than Sitchin's. This prophet planet, Nabu rose to preeminent as a prefix for names in the Neo-Babylonian Chaldean Empire, just after several disasters took place. The destruction of the ancient irrigation dam of Egypt about 2141 years before the Christian era, the catastrophe, known as the Flood of Egypt, an event that closed out the Old Kingdom period of Egypt. This is just one example of events attributed to the prophet planet, which was described by an early Jewish historian, in his self-titled book Isaiah, chapter 19 The Burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord rode upon a swift cloud the prophet planet and came into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt were moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt melted in the midst of it. And and the waters failed from the sea, and the river wasted and dried up, and turned the rivers far away, and the irrigation channels were emptied and dried up, the reeds and flags withered, the paper reeds by the ditches, and everything sown by the ditches, were wither, driven away, and to be no more. In that day there was an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt, and a pillar at the border thereof, to the Lord. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt. That pillar is now known as the Great Pyramids which rose from the water of the receding sea of Egypt. The next reappearance of the prophet planet was hundreds of years later. Moses and Isaiah spoke of the prophet planet which caused ten major plagues, a visitation that happened when the children of Israel were in bondage in Egypt. The Hebrew people cried unto the Lord because of the oppressors, and he sent them the Savior, and a great one, and he delivered them. The death angel, the prophet planet passed over, and caused the great plagues to come to the nation of Egypt. Some call this death angel. Nabiru however in Egypt it was known as Duth. Then on return trip from the sun the prophet planet caused an extra high tide in the Indian Ocean draining the Red Sea Basin. On the return of the water caused a tsunami, covering the Pharaoh and his army. And at the same period of history, major volcanic eruptions and earthquakes destroyed the palaces of the Minoans. Disaster which allowed the Greeks to take control of the eastern Mediterranean Sea. Disasters caused by the close proximity of the prophet planet to Earth and then about 50 years later in about 1433 BC, Joshua had extra light provided by the prophet planet to finish a battle. About 500 years later in about 933 BC, the Greek army as they were stationed outside the walls of Troy had thousands of troops die, and at the same time King David of Israel had thousands of his people die when the sword in the sky passed overhead. 500 years later in 433 BC, the Assyrians, they laid siege to Jerusalem, and again the Assyrians had thousands of troops die. Soon after these disasters a new king of Babylon came on the scene, his name was Nebuchadnezzar. His prayer was, Prophet planet watch over my borders. These disasters seem to happen about every 50 or so years, in the Hebrew year of Jubilee. Nevertheless, the worst disasters happened every five or six hundred years when whole nations like Israel were moved. Indeed, Merodach, or Nabiru was also identified with this planet. The Romans called this disaster a runaway planet, Mercury and to the Greeks it was Hermes, the morning star, and Apollo, the destroyer, the herald of death, and the traveler, the evening star. In Hindu astronomy the usual name for the planet Mercury was Buddha. The early culture of Mexico, his name was Kuchua, to the ancient Chinese, who his. Most modern astronomers have an invalid tradition that Mercury has been orbiting around the Sun in its present orbit for billions of years. Nevertheless, the first person to know that Mercury was in a stationary orbit around the Sun was Heraclitus, Pontus in the 3rd century BC. However there is mounting evidence that Mercury once was in an elliptical orbit past Earth. Just because Mercury is in its present orbit now, many factors could have made this orbit quite different in the past. This evidence has been dismissed by the scholarly world, just as the gatekeepers of Troy discounted Cassandra's evidence. The reason is because this evidence does not fit the accepted theories, 
that atheists of the scholarly world expect the common folk to believe. This traveler may have one trip left to make. There have been some predictions that Nibiru, the prophet planet, will return. As weird as that sounds, the sun has been known to throw off coronal mass ejections as high as X-Class 40 out into space, a force that could indeed change Mercury's current orbit upon impact. Who knows? However, the sun will be in solar maximum when the comet 2012 C goes around the sun. The comet will be very, very close to the prophet planet in the late fall of 2013. John spoke of this return of the prophet planet in the book Revelations, chapter 8, and the third angel sounded, and there came a great start from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and its substance fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters, because they were made bitter. And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars. So as the third part of them was darkened, and the day shone not for a third part of it, and the night likewise. Could the approach of this prophet planet cause this material transfer and those partial eclipses of the sun, moon and stars? Who knows, but, if the prophet planet is not out of its current orbit don't say you were not warned.